Hey hello welcome back to my YouTube channel again so this is just the continuation of the last video where we have loaded the sales data if you remember so let me show you the sales data uh, this is the sales data where we loaded the sales data and we extracted the years and everything so just if you want to convert this into QVD so what you can do is there is a one line only like we just want to store the store the sales data and where we want to store the same location I'm using here just uh, rename it like I just using the same name dot QVD just you have to put this dot QVD and after this location put QVD so this is the basic syntax to store this file into QVD format so just basic about QVD so QVD is something called click view data and uh, there is an inbuilt algorithm in click view that if you have more than like 50,000 line 60,000 line so the size of the file must be bigger right it will be like 20 100 mb 1 gb more than 1 gb data so what it can do is it can compress the data in like mbs so 1 gb data can be compressed into 10 mb 20 mb 5 mb less than that even so this is the benefit of click view uh, qvd file so you if you work on click view you can know that from fetching the data from click views uh, like SQL server to this click view dashboard we don't directly don't connect directly so what we can do is we can create a click view generator there that uh, click view generator is set up with a trigger every 5 hours or 10 hours it runs and it like populate the data in this QVD and this QVD file is used to uh, like reflect or plug the data into the click view dashboard so if I make sense uh, that's the process whole process so what we are doing we are just reloading this whole dashboard again so if we reload the dashboard again yeah so if i have to go back and check uh, with where is my file so i will just go to mm, mm, go to desktop sorry yeah there so now you can see that this is a QVD file as generator sales data dot QVD and it's like now you can see earlier it was 1.2 like MB file now it's 998 KB so like it's somehow reduced a bit so let's do one thing let's reload all the data again with just using QVD file so now let's create a new file just cross this no need for this and just save it first like we'll keep this like qvd reading yeah so qvd reading now press ctrl e so you can do one thing you can just directly click this table file again you see this like click sales data dot qvd if you click this and press open it will open the same thing whatever you have stored there the same exact it doesn't ask you to embedded level everything because everything assigned there itself it won't ask you and it uh, automatically select that this is a QVD format just directly finish this and now you can see that earlier data is reloaded again even this order year order month order day everything is reloaded here and the only difference is it's reloading from the sales data if you just write if save this if you reload this it won't even take much time it will take within like two seconds three seconds if it is taking 10 seconds there it will take only 2-3 seconds uh that's all for this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up see you in the next video bye